What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Jay Daisy here with the Jay Daisy Gaming Channel. Here, back in the worst game I've played in a very long time. And yes, I mean that with 100% sincerity. Here in Homefront, the Revolution, if you didn't know. I went back through and I uh, went up a difficulty level. So I had to replay through all the shitty part that I uh, already played for you yesterday. And so it went from being easy with the shitty engine to great, or harder with a shitty engine. And so we're exactly in the same spot we are. I have more and more anger for this game every time I play it. And I'm not just saying that jumping on the, oh, I hate this game bandwagon. No, I have played it through, or played to this point twice. And it is the worst game I've played in a very, very long time. You have, you're running on the cryo engine, and the collision on this is horrible. I, I just can't get over this game. Nothing is explained. Nothing, it's just a horrible game. It's like... Unless they were rushed by the developer or the publisher, there is no excuse for this. This is insulting to me, this is insulting to your company. Whoever made this should feel bad about yourself. Because you took a game with great premise and great ideas and just shat all over it. That being said, redeeming qualities. Yeah, that's about it. Redeeming qualities. It's in HD, I guess. And I hate that, okay, so this is the smartphone that gets pulled out. I had to key map it to a button halfway across the keyboard because I couldn't stand it. Because if I bring it out, I am mashing the button for that I brought it out for it to go away. In this day and age, fucking, is, I hate it. I hate this game. But I'm trying to keep playing it thinking maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get better. No, it doesn't. See, I'm trying to jump through a godforsaken fucking window. Jump. Jump. Jump on the couch. Jump out the window. Am I just trapped in this room forever? Thank the fucking lord. God, this is a horribly made game. The health bar is the smallest thing on the fucking screen, I found out, too. They're like, oh, this thing that's fairly important for you to know? Yeah, we're gonna make that the smallest fucking thing. God, it's horrible. And they never explain why we're in a fucking combat zone, or that we're in a combat zone, so when I stepped outside the first time, I fucking got my ass shot. I'm trying to find a goddamn fucking area I can buy fucking ammo from, because they, if you die, you don't respawn with ammo, but all the enemies reset. Just so you know, all the enemies reset, you don't have ammo, and we're going to put you on the other side of the map. Have fun with that! It's like, what are the fuck are you trying to get at here? I don't know what that beeping is. Never explained to me. No idea what it is. Don't care. That's kind of what I've gotten to in this game. Is if I don't know because it wasn't explained to me, I don't care. So that means the only thing I know what's going on is um er there's a resistance movement against somebody named Kpec. That's it. Oh, and in this universe, a lower receiver of an AR is the same as an LMG. So there's that. Like, just, okay, so I went into this game thinking, okay, reading the reviews, it was only out for a day, but I read the reviews. Where the fuck do you buy fucking ammo? Sell valuables, shop, weapons. Does it just give me ammo? Because I'm not seeing ammo. Okay. Attachments? No. Oh, instead of this round, I got the foregrip instead of the holographic side, by the way. That's the one difference. Gear. Nope. Consumables. Don't know what batteries are incendiary. I guess I know incendiaries. Fucking buy health packs, because Jesus Christ. Because you fucking don't know you're dead until you're dead. So yeah, this game is just, the collision engine is just the worst fucking thing ever. The mechanics are horrible. I had to spend an hour of re when replaying it just to fucking key map everything to what it should be when it came out. To what the norm anymore is. The gun, whoever, the one redeeming quality, like I was starting to say and then I got lost track. I went into this game, reading, saw the reviews of day one, I went into it day two, saw the reviews from day one, saw that they were horrible. And by the way, who puts V as back? Fuck that person. But because I can't change that. Um, I saw the reviews from day one. I was like, oh, okay. They're pretty bad. They're like 5 out of 10. Uh, 3.5 out of 5. I was like, okay, so it's pretty bad. But I already have it bought. We'll give it a shot. Fucking. And I get into this, and it's just fucking horrible. 
I wouldn't even give it a five. I'd give it like a three. And that's just fucking for pure aesthetics of, oh, it's pretty and it's a game that has a decent fucking premise that then shit on. But Jesus Christ. Just, just why? Why put this out if you're not ready? I never understood this. You push back every other fucking game. And I think they push back this one too. At least once. I don't know where I'm going. I don't care. Yeah, they never explained to you that after that thing, you're now in a fucking red zone, whatever the fuck that means. All it no means to me is that enemies will shoot you on sight regardless. Even though in the fucking menu it says uh, if you holster your weapon, it w you won't be shot. But like I said, nothing explained. And the but uh, like I was saying, the one redeeming quality I, I thought it would have was this gun customization. It was fairly proud of its gun customization and how it worked. So I went into this seeing like you could change up. Where the fuck are you and die? God fucking damn it. Um, the gun customization and that fucking mechanic. Oh, you're looting. You're at the end of the your looting cycle. We're gonna make you stand over the body or whatever you're fucking looting. That person can go fucking lose their fucking job. Oh, to thank God I brought three rounds of ammo. And these fucking things, I have no purpose for knowing what they are. Where the fuck did this guy come? See, they don't fucking... People just come out of fucking woodwork, you clear an area, it's like, oh no, six guys from three blocks down came over. And now we're going to respawn. Enemies will have reset. And we have no ammo. We have this ammo. We have no ammo for this. What fucking genius came up with that idea? If you're going to reset me in a combat zone, and you're going to reset the fucking enemies, give me my fucking ammo back. I'm done with this game. I don't want to keep playing it, but I feel I have to because I spent 40 bucks on the fucking thing. It's fucking... Itchy. And whoever... Okay, so I have to fucking keep saying, but I get distracted, so we're going to stop so I can explain this. Whoever came up with their one redeeming quality of... No, not the fucking shitty phone of this gun customization has never seen a fucking gun before. Your fucking sling would not be on the fucking charging handle. No. Because then every time you would use this sling, it would charge the gun. That's what this is. It's a charging handle. You use it, it puts a round in the fucking chamber. Your uh, one-person sling is normally on this bolt or a bolt back here. It's not on the fucking charging handle. If you've ever seen a movie, though, you just see that this, they have one sling that holds it. And you think, oh, it's going to go there. Also, whoever thinks that a fucking LMG and a AR take the same fucking lower receiver, that is this part right here. This is what's called the qualified as a gun. I hope you can see my mouse in the recording because this is important. For If you're not a gun nut like me and know these things, and it, even it should be fucking common sense. This is the lower receiver. From this part here to this part here all this black metal is called the lower receiver. It's what's called the, it's the gun in reality. All the rest of this I can buy over the counter. This is what's called a gun. This top part is a top receiver, barrel, foregrip, and uh, stock. Those are your four or five basic components in the trigger assembly. But if you think that I can build an LMG out of this lower receiver, you're fucking retarded. Retarded. Also, the whole idea that, oh, you can only have a... If you're going to have gun customization, you're going to be proud of it, have feasible gun customization. One, we'll just ignore that. But two, let me put a laser sight and a foregrip on this. Or two scopes. You know, if you're going to be fucking... Call yourself accurate about this. Fucking do it right. Like, look. Look at his LMG. If you've ever just seen guns and move... Stand the fuck up! Stand the fuck up. No one explained to me this recruiting thing. I'll recruit you just so I can show your gun. If you can tell me that his lower receiver and my lower receiver would be the same, you're retarded. Shut the fuck up. I truly hate this game. Truly. And I don't like using the word hate. But I truly hate this game. It is an abomination. They should... They better be coming out with a fucking 18 gigabyte fucking patch for this. Because this is abysmal. And this is shameful. For something running on the cryo engine. And something that... Uh, 
has the premise of the U.S. Oh, I fired my gun, so now the entire map is alerted to me, by the way. Um, something that's running on the cryo engine with a, such a f superb premise as this. Like, what you could be using for a story. You should be ashamed of yourselves. That is my rant for this game, because I have been thinking about the... Thank God that guy showed up on my map up until I saw him. Thank God. See? Health bar. Let's put it all the way on the fucking smallest thing. Thank God I've... Fucking go away! Why would you still have that fucking active? God. That's one problem I have with keyboards. And then fucking... We're gonna... Oh, you have 26 letters and numbers and all these characters. We're gonna map something to every fucking single one of them. I'm proud to be part of the PC Master Race. Fucking die. But Jesus Christ, if you're kind of clumsy... That animation right there. If you're kind of clumsy like me, sometimes you hit the fucking wrong button. H. So yeah, now that we're on hard difficulty level, it just, be, it just means that the fucking firefights... ...are fucking more difficult. But they're not any fucking better. Doesn't change the fucking shitty engine we're running. Or the. Not the shitty engine. I can't br blame the engine. Because Cryo Engine is what Crisis 3 was made on. And Crisis 3 was fucking a decade ahead of its time. I don't know what's going on. I'm just looting bodies. Because that's the only way to fucking get ammo in this game. I'm going to go in here. Hey, we actually got this one. Remember yesterday how we were trying to get this one and it was retarded? Yeah, we got it. Woo! God. I've never been so pissed off at a game in a very long time. Probably not since Titanfall. I'm very supportive of the gaming community. I love it. I'm proud to be part of it now. Shut the fuck up. But thank God we gotta go get this walker guy that I have no reason to want. They're like, oh, we have to go get this walker guy. He'll save the resistance. It's like... Thanks for putting this right through my fucking head. I didn't... I really need to hear this. It took such a great idea, and such a great engine, and such a great fucking... It's like they took Cry... or not Crisis 3. Fucking Far Cry 3. I said this a shit ton yesterday. It's like they took Far Cry 3 and shit on it. And presented it and said, oh. Fucking die. And that's exactly what it feels like. You guys are on the other side of this crate when I started that process. Just so. Just fucking die! Because apparently if that giant symbol for whatever's located on the map here hides all of you fuckers. They're like fucking ants or something. I'm even a little insulted that this is on my channel. Of this game being bad. But I feel people need to know before they go and buy it thinking the same thing I did. Like, maybe it's fucking... Maybe it's not as bad as it is. It is. It is as bad. Like I said, IGN gave it a 5 out of 10 and uh, Metacritic gave it a 4 and a half, I think. They were being generous. Or a 3 and a half from Metacritic, sorry. I was trying to zoom out there on that map. Looks like our intel was accurate. Those weapons will be very useful. Okay, I'll make sure they're distributed amongst our people. Nice find, Brady. I like how they just made one lower receiver part and just put it on every gun. It's no fucking. Oh my god! I was able to kill someone. Disengaged the North Patrol. We couldn't get a word out of them about Walker's whereabouts. Had to make a run for it once their 
backup arrives. Copy. Stay safe, guys. Seriously. No heroics, man. Yeah? If you find anything, you call it back up. Are you worried about me, Philly Alpha? Worried about the ten bucks you owe me? No, keep looking, but be smart about it. I hate this game. I have yet to find something other than it's pretty, it's running on HD and all that that uh, makes me want to keep playing it. Pretty much to see if I can get my $40 worth out of this game. And it's not going very well. So unless something really amazing happens, this will probably be the last video I'm making of this game because I don't want it, my channel to just be me ranting and raving at this game. Because it's not worth my time, it's not worth your time, this game apparently wasn't even worth the developer's time. So why should good hard working people like you pay money? I work nights every night to make forty dollars to play this game. To play all my games. And for me to spend that on a game, I should be getting forty dollars worth of content. This is sixty dollars, I got it for forty. So either whichever number you want to fucking roll with, I should be getting that out of this game. And I am not. And I am morally hurt that I'm still playing this game. But I'm probably going to end up playing all 20 hours. That's the whole campaign. It's 20 hours worth of gameplay just to try and get $40 out of it. And the whole time I'm going to be cursing and being very pissed off at it because it is shit. That is my two cents on this. That is how I feel. And until I see something different in this game, that is going to be continue how I feel. Oh, there is a bike in here. S fucking surprise. I don't give a shit. Far Cry 3 was cool because you were fucking had it in. The All Star Diner has become a critical KPA stronghold. If we can liberate it, we will be sending a strong message to the Norse. Far Cry 3 had a story that pulled you in. I don't. I'm not. Not, not even going to get mad anymore. I try not to get mad in my life. I try to keep a fairly level head. I just let. You guys just saw how I left that place and was selling all my valuables. Apparently, I'm full again. After, what? Fucking two spots? Awesome. Fucking fabtabulous. Because that's how doors work. And this is how hacking works. I like how half of it is in Chinese and half is in uh, English. Like the rest of the game, it's like someone just had a great idea, started on it, went, Well, that's good enough for me! And stopped. I don't care. How many times do I have to tell you guys? I do not care because you're making me sit through this. Thank you. Just let me go. Please let me go. Good work capturing that transceiver. We'll be able to better monitor KPA movements in the zone thanks to you. What the fuck is the steel dart? Because apparently I'm still full on that. Oh, wasn't explained. Don't fucking know. Come in, Philly Alpha. What's going on? I'm hearing buzz that a truck was seen entering Lombard. Had a big ass scoring helicopter to work. Could be it was Walker. We'll look into it. Alright, I'll tell Parrish. Keep me posted. I hate this game. Double the value. Here we go. That's what we need. Oh, thank God it's a thousand for a backpack and that everyone's wearing that we could easily just pick up. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video here before I keep getting mad and keep repeating myself on how shitty this game is. Until something changes, or if you guys want to see more of me playing this game, leave it in the comments. I'll grit my teeth and play more if you guys want to see it. Otherwise, don't buy this game. Don't buy it. Don't, unless you can get it for like $5 or $10. Maybe on a good day, $15. But do not buy it for full price don't buy it for half price. It's not worth it. The developers didn't put the time and effort into it to make it worth it. They are running on the cryo engine and that is not enough to redeem this game. Don't pl don't buy it. Just don't unless you can unless you want to play a shitty game that was put together hastily and that apparently they don't care enough about their product so why should you? 
I'm sorry that this is such a downer video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the box. As always, have a great one.